大家好，欢迎来到汉泰学院世界瞭望所。我是 Jeremy Huang. Today, I'd like to talk about wavelength management and blue light. We are going to talk about what kind of impact blue light may have on our eyes, and how we can reduce these effects through wavelength management. Light propagates in the form of waves through electromagnetic fields. The colors of the rainbow, as you know it, are red. Orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet, and these all fall under a specific range of wavelengths, which we measure in nanometers. This is called the visible light spectrum. This range is roughly between around 380 nanometers to 700 nanometers, and wavelength not only determines the color and type of light, but it also influences other properties such as the energy and the penetration levels. Frequency, which we call the inverse of wavelength, is commonly used to notate the hazard level of light waves. Blue and violet light, in particular, are among the highest of frequency of the visible light spectrum. Visible blue light has a relatively short wavelength, meaning it has a higher frequency level and penetrative ability. Short wavelength blue light falls on the visible spectrum, typically between 400 and 500 nanometers. Some studies. Have shown that this high energy blue light does penetrate through many of our ocular structures and can reach the lens, cornea, and the retina. The prolonged exposure of blue light to our eyes can lead to a decreased production of the natural sleep hormone melatonin. This may impact our overall sleep quality and even affect our normal day-to-day -day activities. Digital devices are now a large part of our modern life and emit various levels of this blue light. The best methods to decrease this blue light from devices are taking regular breaks, to maintain good reading habits, adjusting screen brightness, and even potentially utilizing a blue light filter. This will help mitigate any potential adverse effects that blue light may cause. As we said before, high frequency blue light can have negative effects on our body, such as the decrease in sleep quality and sleep duration. To manage this, we can reduce that transmission of blue light to the eyes. By using special blue light filtering optical lenses, with the widespread use of digital devices, it is crucial to pay further attention to protect our eye and our overall health. Wavelength management is a way to possibly decrease this risk of disturbing our normal circadian rhythms and sleep patterns, while still making it possible to complete our day-to-day -day tasks. Thank you for listening to this short course at Brighton Academy.